All right, good morning, everyone. Welcome back. And um, we're here at the new base site. Now, I'm not going to do any building today because basically what I've come to the conclusion of is that we're too far along. We're on like day 40 something right now. So uh, the I've already had like baby hordes and mutant hordes and cannibal hordes show up here. And it's just, uh, it's a little bit <laughs> heavy right now. So what I think I'll do is I'm gonna hop up on top of this mountain here where I think I left my glider last time to see if it's still there. And uh, we're gonna glide over to that, um, let me check the map here. It was kind of like on the west coast. There was like a bunker that I couldn't get into before. Okay, it's over here somewhere. I do think that this would just be like the perfect spot for a base though, like right about here. Man, this is such a cool place. Got an excellent view, nice and bright, access to water, access to logs. This would be a good spot right here. The only thing is, um, I've tried to do, in between episodes, I actually tried to record once, but uh, I ended up scrapping it because I was trying to build across this and it just doesn't work. Like, I, I can't figure out how to span this. Basically, the problem is that you can't put logs down in the water there it's too deep and so and it's very difficult to kind of like span any sort of a distance without a foundation below it anyway let me pop up here and see if i can find the glider and no i swear i left it right here so <laughs> unfortunately that's gone nope it's not on this peak either there might be some other form of transportation close by i'd have to kind of remember where everything is here i don't know let's uh, head down to the coastline i believe that's the coastline that the bunker was on i'm not 100 percent sure so this could be a tremendous way of time walking down there <laughs> i'll see you down there though okay i'm rolling up on the spot that i was looking at on the map nope that turns out that's just a um tent that i pitched here at some point is it uh, just over here though then oh geez uh, i don't remember i do remember seeing in the patch notes recently that things no longer show up on the map unless maybe you've uh, discovered them before so maybe the bunker that we're looking for is actually out here somewhere, and I just, uh, I need to, like, rediscover it. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to continue along here, because there's another sort of road that leads down to the beach. I just could have sworn that this was the right beach. Yes, in fact, I believe that is the case, because this is the wharf over here with the, the helicopter landing pads and the golf carts, and it led up the hill here to a bunker. And I really strongly agree with their decision to take everything off the map, so you kind of have to look for things and discover them on your own. I hate it when ha games, like, hold your hand. I remember back when I played Morrowind, and, like, you had to uncover all of the map. There was a proper fog of war, and um, exploration was just, like, a legit thing. You had to spend hours and hours just going over every inch of the map. And nowadays, it's just they're holding your hand and carrying you along and showing you where all the important stuff is. It's kind of pathetic. Right, so our bunker entrance should be along this road somewhere, I think. Aha, yes, I found it. I just made my way back down to the beach. I must have walked right by it. It's quite camouflaged here. Okay, extra tape. Good. Yes, I was hoping we could maybe get a fire going. Let's just do that. I gotta cook up some meat before we head inside. All right, meat is cooked and game is saved. Let's just top off on a little bit of, I don't know, turtle or squirrel or <laughs> whatever this was. It's all the same, right? And, oh, is this now? Uh-oh, this is different. This is, um, I could use this before. Is this the exit now or something? Huh. I could have sworn this was like the end cave here. Um, yeah, so they keep changing stuff and uh, I'm having to kind of chase my tail a little bit <laughs> because I think they must have moved this, right? Yep, well, this is a bust. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh, explore around here and see if there's maybe a different entrance nearby. Okay, so I just, I've been searching all over the countryside here and I haven't found anything interesting or new. I did find this little site right here. I'm not sure if this is new or not, but I'll just kind of scavenge here. Oh, a light bulb. That's my first one of those. Um, ooh, money. Nice. Okay. Um, so what I was thinking is that um, if I look at my GPS, I, I what I imagine has happened, um, and I think I read in one of the patch notes once, is that um, there's a computer that opens a, a door now, and um, I'm very close to the cave where I got the, well, I, it's where I got the golden armor. It's where the golden armor used to be, and I think it's where the katana is. Oh, hello, red man. Take him out. Ah. Oh, no, no, no. I can't let him uh, destroy my armor because uh, this is basically all I have. I have some um, 
tech armor. I wish I could find a 3D printer, actually. I could probably print a little bit more of that. But yeah, I was kind of hoping we could stock up on armor in the final cave before we get to the boss battle. Oh, hey there. You want to donate some bones for me? <laughs> I think that he does. Oh, hi there. You're just in time for the barbecue. Okay, so that should have given me, like, um... Yeah, nine pieces of bone armor right there. Not too bad at all. Let's just toss those on until we're filled up and we will proceed on to this cave over here. Ah, another red man. See what I mean? It's just, ah, <laughs> uh, we're too far along. I think I need to do another playthrough. I need to like start over from scratch on day one and pick a nice cooler place to build and kind of use all the things that I've learned along the way to progress a little bit more quickly. How about that for a build site on top of that big cliff there overlooking this? Yeah, here's the view up here. Wow, that is a cool view, man. What, this would be a great place to build. Kind of just like clear out this whole top ledge here. Oh, what about that over there? Look at the view you get of the waterfall. That would be so cool. Wow, yeah, this is like premium real estate right here. I love this spot. I hear um radio somewhere. Ah, here it is. Oh, a dead deer. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, I'll take the electronics off of this. I'm full on electronics, which is kind of a bummer. Oh my god, it's the Night V. Whoa. I have not tried this yet. So just give me whatever I can out of here and... Oh, nice. Nice. Okay, so how do I do this? There we go. And yeah. Ho oh, ho. Whoops. Okay, it is... Um, it, it's a learning... There's a learning process to this. Oh, I see. Okay, you have to actually use uh, WASD to move, not your mouse. Whoa, man, this is fun. Cool. Okay, and I can use the GPS. So, yeah, there should be a cave over here. The Katana Cave, I guess I'll call it. It's not even really a cave. It's like the... I think it's called the Luxury Bunker. And I know actually where the exit to that cave is. So, there's a possibility we can just go in the back door and see if we can find uh, the key to the bunker that we're actually trying to get into. Oh, geez, I crashed. Yeah, wasn't this the um, the exit right here? This is where it is. Okay, so can I just um, set this down temporarily and head in through the back of the cave? The reason I think I have to do it this way is because if you go in the other way... Oh, geez, yeah, there's this. Oh, and nope, nope, it doesn't let you rope gun anymore. Remember, I, the last time I left this cave, I could rope gun up there, and it worked, and now they have... Um, seemingly fixed that okay i've tried a couple of different strategies and they're not working they have definitely made it so that this is not possible which just means that i have to go in through the traditional route i will leave the night over here somewhere i can see it on my compass i can't really see it it's starting to get dark out we've got cannibals abound but there should be a regular entrance to the cave over here and seemingly maybe oh geez yes here we go Okay, yeah, I kind of thought that once you found a cave, then it then is when it would kind of show up on your map. So this place actually should be clear, unless everything's respawned, in which case I'm seriously just going to run right straight through it, because there should be nothing here that I need, unless they've added some stuff. Oh, didn't I see in the patch notes that they've added something to... Is this the door here? With It was the big fight behind the door? <laughs> oh yeah, of course it is. Here we go again. Right, we've seen that before, so we didn't need to watch it again. That definitely leads me to believe that this place is fully respawned. So, okay, yes, now I can actually leave, I think, if I wanted to. Yes, I can. See, that's why I kind of feel like I need to wrap things up here, because uh, if they're going to keep going behind me and changing what I've already done, then uh, it makes it more difficult to progress any further. Okay, they have respawned, like, loot in here, though, so... Maybe I'll run through here again just to collect ammo and whatnot. Okay, so far no monsters. I would have expected to see one by now. Here we go, got the old putter here. I think we're looking for a computer. Oh, here we go, 3D printer. I don't need the 3D printer. I'm gonna make all the uh, tech plating, but I can actually just make the tech armor in my inventory, can I? <laughs> Forgot about that. It's been a while since I played. I was on vacation for quite some time, so um, I'm a little bit rusty and I, um, <laughs> there's some, definitely uh, some relearning to do. Yeah, we need circuit boards, batteries, and wire, and we should be able to make a whole bunch of tech armor. Yep, I think that's five pieces. That's a full set of tech armor for when we need it, and I will actually print out a little bit more if I can here. Ooh, this is a full 3D printer. Holy crap. Wait, now it's given me an error that it's out. Okay, some kind of a 
glitch there. Okay, so I guess we're getting two pieces of tech plating. I got an achievement for that, even though I've done this a half a dozen times at this point. Okay, there we go. I'm out of duct tape right now, and I think I'm also out of batteries, so it's about as far as I can progress on the uh, tech armor front for now. Yep, this place is just completely empty. Just some free food and stuff to gather up. All right, I'll meet you at the end then. Okay, so I just um, found the luxury bunker location. I guess that's how finding sites work now. You have to actually like find the GPS marker in a bunker and then you'll permanently probably have it on your GPS. Can't tell right now. Oh, this is, um, this looks new. Wait, have I seen this? I have not seen this before. Is that Timmy? Wait, unlock. Oh, here we go. This is what we're looking for right here. We got to unlock the bunker. Okay, so I found the luxury bunker. I've unlocked it, presumably. Does that mean we're all done here? Is there nothing else? Nope, okay, we're going back down. We should be able to kind of push through the cave, through the natural way of things. I wanna also check, um, it was like the autopsy room. I think there was something new there. Was it the night vision or there's something there? Yes, this is the room. What was in here? Oh, the camcorder, that's what it was. Stop that, not the camcorder. It's like the GoPro, basically, you can watch videos on it. Were there any videos that it um, that I can watch now? Action camera, here we go. Right, so beached whale. Oh, these are the, uh, what are these, like sons of the sky or something? The preachers, sons of the stars, maybe? Oh, so they've, they've just killed themselves then. Ritualistic suicide, that's interesting. Cool, all right, let's get out of here now. Okay, I just hopped out of the cave and the the night five that I left right on top of this rock here is gone. That's nice. Okay, so that's how that works, I guess. I guess we're, uh, we're walking then. Save the batteries, I don't have any left. All right, off to the luxury bunker. All right, the sun is just starting to crest the horizon there. Very cool view over here on this side of the map to see the sunrise like this. And we're very nearly over to the luxury bunker. I'm just gonna stop by here and see if there's any good loot for me to take with me. So these loot boxes, they don't respawn anymore, but they have respawned since the last time I was here because that change was implemented in the meantime. So this would be the last time that I'd ever be able to come out here and do this anyway. Kind of unfortunate because most of this stuff I'm already full on. And so just by opening this container, those items are then just wasted. Just make sure, yeah, I'm full on vodka and I'm full on molotovs. I'm full on a lot of things, but on some of the more critical things like batteries, I'm empty. There's some batteries, nice. Oh sure, just toss it right in the ocean, that's nice. Okay, so the door here should be open. Let's just save up again. There we go, and who needs sleep these days because I've got energy bars and energy drinks. Okay. Now we're into it. The final fight. Gotta try to remember if I encounter a demon, might as well just switch over to the demon, the golden armor, which is effective against demons and only demons I have discovered. Okay, so there is some loot here. We can kind of stock up a little bit before we head in. Oh, I just saw that rabbit there on the floor. <laughs> I literally just watched Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So my first instinct was danger. Okay, so far completely empty. Very uneventful. Yep, I can hear a radio up ahead somewhere. And we're getting into the bloodstains, so probably gonna be finding some mutants here. It's kind of like a museum here or something. A holographic tree. Some like weird paintings about cubes. Yeah, they're all different, but they're all showing the same thing at the same time. Okay, I found the source of the music. It's some sort of like a lounge room. Got a book here, rescued by Eric LeBlanc. That was the main character of the the regular Forest, the first game, written by TV's survival expert. So it looks like he did like a Bear Grylls thing <laughs> after he got back from the island. Okay, so far just a whole lot of storytelling and not a lot of action. Okay, here we go. Same theme here. Crosses burn demons. Okay, yes, we know that. Ammo, slug ammo. Lots of slug ammo. Kind of makes me think I should probably have the shotgun out, right? <laughs> That's not a bad idea, is it? Shotgun and it's got a light on it anyway, so yeah, I don't I don't feel too bad about that. What do I have for ammo? Set to slug ammo, set to buckshot ammo. How much ammo do I even have? I have 26 and 47. I'll go with slugs then for now. They seem to be a little bit more dispensable, even though in my experience, they're they're quite bad. Okay, this is a dead end, which means uh, I'm a tad bit lost here. Oh no, it's not a dead end. I can go through the smoky hole in the wall here. Oh, here we go, into a cave. Oh, I see. Right, so I have to um, use the golden armor to unlock the door. 
Okay, here we go. Yes, I'm wearing the golden armor now. That's, um, that's probably a clue that that's what I should be wearing. Oh. So, oh jeez. Hello there. That would be a demon. Okay, in which case, I'm gonna just roll with the cross out. Oh, I, no, I totally killed it in one shot with a slug. How, what? That is, uh, has not been my experience with the slugs thus far. I'm not asking any questions, though. Right, so I get, uh, where the name Hell Cave came from. I should probably figure out... I thought I already did the Hell Cave. The Hell Cave... This is definitely the Hell Cave, right? But when I did the cave that now has the golden armor that actually didn't have the golden armor because I got the golden armor from the... I think it was the residential bunker. Um, I wonder what that cave is called now. But, um, similar to that last bunker cave thing. This cave just seems kind of big and empty for what it for what it is. I mean, it's cool and all, but um you know, oh, that's a that's a creepy or something right over there. You know, I don't mind if there's things to do in the caves. Is that Oh, it's just a skeleton. Okay, let's just jump over here then. Hi there. Okay, we're going to break through into another big room over here. Oh, is that a demon? Sure looks like one. I wanna- Oh, he can just walk in lava too. That's nice. I mean, he is a demon, so it kind of makes sense. But then again, he catches on fire when I show the cross to him. And that- that burns him to death, right? Here we go! Okay! Is this working? Ah! Yes, it's working. Continue showing them the cross. The power of Christ compels you. This is a very... like, unsatisfying way to kill them, quite honestly. It just doesn't make any noise. It should make some sort of like an immolation or, you know, they don't screech or anything. They just die. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Okay. Something to be desired there. I guess I'll take the creepy armor. Yes. More of that, please, so I can stock up on the creepy armor. It's that time again for a little bit of cat food. Yummy. Okay, that room leads into yet another long, kind of windy cave into another lava flow. Ooh, this is a really big one. And there's a bunch of demons down there, too. Alright, we're out of that. Man, I killed, like, 15 demons there. Okay, more papers. Does that say... Out Demonia. Got another paper here that says, Stay in the cube. Right, we've seen that before. There was some kind of a painting or mural or something that said, uh, you know, it showed someone in a cube. All right, what are we looking at here? Big open room again. Kind of going down. Oh, jeez, I can hear somebody. Down he goes. Oh, there's more. He's off the cliff now, almost. I guess some of them you just one-shot. Maybe I'm getting lucky with the headshots on the slugs occasionally. It's just, it's so difficult to aim. I don't know why you can't have iron sights and you put the, uh, the Picatinny rail underneath the shotgun where it's supposed to be. Yeah, this is what you get. Cause just like Seven Days to Die when, you know, non-gun people <laughs> design guns. Maybe they should hire, like, a veteran as a, uh, as a, as an advisor. A firearm advisor. Just like when you watch movies, or like when I watch movies and there's, uh, any sort of person in like a military uniform I can just immediately identify everything that's out of place like the patches that are wrong the badges that are wrong it's being worn incorrectly because they're lazy they don't actually look into it or hire anyone that will help advise them on how it's supposed to look so it ends up just killing the immersion okay uh, let's do the cross for this one because I forgot to load the shotgun oh, oh there's like three of them too so I get like an AOE that's that's actually pretty good I like that it's a shame to give up all the creepy armor I guess I guess what I could do is start wearing it. I don't really know, I haven't done this before, so... Yeah, put the creepy armor on, start stocking up on it more. When the armor runs out, I'll toss on the demon armor again. The golden armor, I should say. So are we just not gonna talk about how this cave would just be like, you know, a thousand degrees hot and filled with toxic gas? All right, I guess this is the theme here. I'm just gonna sit here and casually burn all these demons and collect their creepy armor until I get to something more exciting. All right, speaking of something interesting, I hear gunfire at this point, so perhaps there's there is a battle that we're walking up on yet again. Make sure we're loaded this time. And oh my god, there's a giant demon crawling out of the lava up here. We're in the sauce now. Oh, look at this. All right, all right. Holy crap, that thing is big. Time for the buckshot, baby. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, it's attacking. Oh my goodness, that hurt a lot. 
Oh, like a three at a time on that bullet there. Half the problem is these regular demons that are everywhere. And regular demons, I think, are down now. Where's the big guy? Oh, geez, I don't know quite yet. I need to uh, stock back up on creepy armor, though. Oh, oh, the big guy is definitely back. Here he is. Where'd Timmy go? Here we go. Yeah, might want to try to dodge that. There he is. Take him out. Nope, nope, he's just chasing me down. Oh my god, half of my armor is done already. Come on back here, buddy. I take that back. Go away. Okay, I've dumped at least a couple of mags into him now. He's got to be at least softened up a little bit. Just fill up on whatever armor I have at this point. Okay, there he is. Stun doesn't work. Okay, just get the guns. Oh, jeez. Ow. Okay. I... Was that it? Did I kill him finally? Yes, he's totally dead. Okay, tell me you're gonna give me some armor because you've literally destroyed like 25 pieces. Five creepy armor. Okay, that's um not nearly worth the investment. Where did Timmy go? Did Timmy just get like yeeted into the lava or am I gonna find him? Oh, got a cave exit here. Wait, it said stay in the cube. I still haven't seen the cube yet. No cube, no artifacts, no explanation for what this resource is. Hopefully they're gonna answer some questions for me here. Achievement unlocked, keep your friends close. Oh, it's Timmy. It's kind of a countdown there and whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey everybody. Oh, ho, 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 that guy got locked out. Counting down. Uh, yep, and he's having an ins uh, a mutant insane moment. I, oh, geez. other dimension. Well, I think it was there for a second. And Virginia's having a hard time here. Oh, look at that. Eric's back. And I guess this is the point where I get to either leave or go back to the forest. I I'll leave. It's even unlocked. Fought demons. Oh, Virginia, you're alive. <laughs> Kelvin is still bleeding out of the ears. So that's it. Well, I had heard that the ending was um, interesting to say the least, and I would have to agree with that sentiment. This is an early access game, so hopefully they will hire some voice actors maybe and kind of flesh out those cutscenes a little bit make them a little bit less ambiguous. But anyway, it's been a pretty fun playthrough. I think that uh, in light of them just kind of adding things and changing things and, and sort of putting things in places where I've already been, I'm going to set this game aside for a couple of months and probably revisit it a little bit later on when there's just some more interesting things to do and some different ways to build. But overall, I can't say I'm disappointed in the game. It has been a really fun ride, very refreshing and interesting. I can't wait to pick this one up again. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.